tutorial is on shear wall design based on ACI. So, for example, I have here a model from RCDC. This is the data. Uh, this one is 1000 mm, for example, and this is 250 mm. 250. Then we Let's put a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 2, 14 diameter 12 reinforcement. Okay, and then our stretch here is this, for example. Our FC prime is 25 megapascal. Okay, 25 megapascal, that is 3.57 KSI. Our FY is 420, so that's 60 KSI. So let's just put an arbitrary values. Our, our main purpose here is to get the interaction diagram. Again, the length is 1000. So that is 3.28 feet. Our thickness is 250. So that is 10 inches. Okay, for the purpose of um, being consistent, let's assume a, a bulb here as 10 inch by 9.2 so that we can accommodate 4 12 mm diameter. So here, we have 4 12 mm diameter. So that means... We assume a bulb on this uh, this is the bulb this one therefore what remains here is the wall or the stem of the wall so if I have seven one two so this is two and this is another two column. What's left here inside is three. So I only have three, three columns of three by two. Okay, so okay, so ten inches the thickness. Then, if to be consistent with RCDC. Our spacing here is, this is 150, 150. Okay, so in our spreadsheet, this is the bulb, okay? So this is the bulb, this zone. So 150 spacing, that means 6 inches, okay? So we have 6 inches of 12 mm diameter. 3.25 is 12 by my, my load my factor is 3.25 times 25 over 8. We will get 12. This is my multiplier. Okay, that's it. And then this is the corresponding interaction diagram. So, for example, our maximum P is 676. 676 pips times 4.44 because 1 kip is 4.44 kilonewton. So, that is about 3,000 kilonewton. Okay, 3,000 kilonewton. So if you check in RCDC, let's find the maximum. So that's about 3,000 kilonewton. This is a maximum P. Okay, how about the maximum moment? According to our spreadsheet, our point here is 368, 346, or... This one, 
So I converted this PNM. That means 1 5 kilonewton. This is the P, and this is the moment of 500. 1 5 and 500 kilonewton meter. 1 5 and 500 kilonewton meter. So I switch here. Okay, that's it. 1 5 kilonewton and 500 kilonewton meter. Okay. Again, uh, I consider this as the bulb. So in, in in actual you can you can enlarge that size there and input the number of rebar here. In this case the uh, the the thickness of the bulb is the same with the thickness of the uh, wall. Okay. okay, that's it. And for the maximum uh, for the flexure only, or uh, that means no no action, we got 181 or 245 kilonewton meter. So 181 keep feet or 245 kilonewton meter. You see? So that means zero action here. Okay. So almost zero, and we have got 266 or very near 245 kilonewton meter as obtained in our spreadsheet okay